Okay, everyone, um, we are going to create uh, a new part here. We're going to create just a, kind of a vacuum nozzle adapter here. Uh, as you can see on my screen, um, we are going to use a couple of new tools, and that's why this part is a good example to do for that, is I'm going to show you how to um, create this angle here as well as this angle here. And you can see that this design here is made up of two main parts. We've got kind of a cylinder here, and we've got a, uh, appears to be kind of a weird looking shape, but what I, what I actually made this from was just a, a rectangle that was extruded, and then I kind of shaped it the way I wanted it afterwards. Okay, so two main parts here. Uh, that we're going to be working on. And again, two new tools that you haven't used so far, the draft tool, uh, and then also you'll see it's called the split body tool, which makes uh, this cut right there. So let's go ahead and begin a new design. Okay, and I'm going to create a sketch. I'll start with the cylinder, okay? I think that the cylinder is probably the easiest thing to do. And I'm not going to worry about this curvature here yet. I'm just going to create just a flat out cylinder right now. And I'll worry about that cutting that shape out later. So let's go to new sketch. I'll create the sketch on this front plane here. Hit C for circle. And let's create that circle at around 50 millimeters. You can see it's already fully constrained. I've given it a position as well as a dimension. Finish sketch, hit E on your keyboard, and let's extrude that out. So E for extrude. Let's extrude that out, oh, let's say about 220 millimeters. Oh, and let's make that negative 220. Okay, so it goes in the other direction. And we'll stick with new body and hit OK. All right, so next I've got my cylinder. Next what I'm going to do is create the second part that I was talking about, that rectangle here that gets extruded out into my cylinder. Okay, I'll worry about all these different uh, details of kind of the design later, but I'm just gonna start this off with a rectangular block. And so it's gonna be here on this front face. So I'm actually gonna create a new sketch on this front face Okay, hover your mouse on a corner where that face is showing and click. And what I'm going to do and what you should get in the habit of doing is I want to be able to snap to the top of the circle here. But right now, as it stands, I'm not going to grab right, the, right at the top. And, you know, what you want to get in the habit of doing is just creating temporary geometry, just like construction lines. Uh, so I hit L on my keyboard and I choose a construction line to go from the center of my circle to the top of that circle. Okay, now I've got a point that I can snap to. I've got that point. And so what I'm going to do is create another line and get rid of the construction button and just draw it randomly in space. Don't worry about the dimension right now. Okay. And what we're going to do is actually set a constraint for the midpoint of this line to attach to the top of the circle here. So I'm going to set a constraint midpoint this line to this point. And you can see that it then becomes symmetrical on both sides. And let's set a dimension on this line. Let's make that significantly wider. Let's go with something like 180. Maybe that's too wide. Let's go with 160. Now I like 180 better. <laughs> okay. So this is not a rectangle, by the way. This is a dimension, and that's the line that I drew. And what we're going to do is actually offset that line rather than draw a rectangle now from here and have overlapping geometry. Let's just quickly offset this line. So I hit O on my keyboard or go to the Create Offset tool. Select the line you want to offset and drag it down. Oh, let's go with 32 millimeters. 
and let's close our shape. Hit L for line, and let's close this, and let's close this. All right, and I'm done my sketch, I think, and let's finish, go to my home view, and hit E. And the profiles that I want to choose here are here and here. Those are the profiles I want to join up with my cylinder. Okay, so how much should we join? Let's go with maybe negative 120 seems like a lot. How does negative 100 look? Not bad. Let's try 110. Okay, I think I like 110. All right, so let's go with 110 and just keep it at join for now and hit OK. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to create kind of this angle here. So uh, there's a few things you can do in this in, at this point is you can do what's called a draft just to get this overall angle. Or I could create a sketch on this top face and then just draw this profile. Uh, so I can do that as well. Um, but I am going to create a draft because I want to show you guys something new here. So I'm going to create a draft. So we're going to go to Modify, Draft. And the first thing it asks to create a draft is the plane at which you want to, to start your angles from. Well, in our case, it's a surface. It's this surface right here. Okay. And now the faces here. And for some reason, sometimes it doesn't let me select both faces at the same time, like now. So if that's the case, just do one at a time. And negative 33 clearly looks like it's too much. So let's try negative 30. How's that look? And orbit around. That's actually not bad. Maybe I want to leave a little bit more of a lip. Okay, so let's go with negative 29. Okay, I think I like that better. Let's try 29.5. I think it rounds to the nearest hole. But uh, let's go with 29.5. Hit OK. And now just do the draft again on this side if it only allowed you to select one side at a time. Okay, here is my plane or my surface. And this is the face that I want. And it'll automatically snap to my previous angle of negative 29.5. Okay, and hit OK. Orbit around, make sure you like what you see. All right, so we're getting there slowly. If I look at the next part that I'd like to do is I am going to do this angled mouth here, okay? I'll do the angled mouth, and then I'll worry about this cutout section here, okay? This cutout, cutting out that cylinder. Okay, so let's do that angled section. And so what you want is that angled mouth. What you want to do is create um, a plane on an angle and use that plane as almost like a cutting tool to cut away um, the part that you don't want there anymore. Okay, so it's called splitting the body. But what we're going to do first is create or construct a plane on an angle. And it wants you to select the line. This is the line that I want. I want to create a, uh, a plane on an angle starting from there. And I'll just move over to my right view so that I can easily just kind of eyeball the kind of angle that I want. Okay, maybe negative 40, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, let's go with, let's go with negative 40. And hit OK. All right, so nothing's really happened just yet. All I've done was create a plane there. What you're going to do now is go to the Modify menu and go to Split Body. Because currently, you can see that we only have one body. And I want this to be two separate bodies, this part here and then this portion here. So the body that I want to split is this. And my splitting tool is my plane. And hit OK. 
And now watch as this updates, you can see I now have two bodies. Okay, and I'm just going to hide this plane. I don't want to see that. So I'm just going to go in the construction drop menu there and hide my plane. Next, what you're going to do is actually delete, sorry, not delete, but remove this section, this body. So you're going to right click this body and don't go to delete. Deleting will actually just get rid of our uh, split, split body and then just go back to one full body. What you want to do is go to remove. Okay. And so that does it. All right, so we're, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. What I want to do now is remove this extra portion from my cylinder, okay? Because right now that is going right up to the edge of my mouth and I don't want that. So the game plan for that is to create a sketch right through the middle of this body here. And I am going to kind of choose an arc, okay, and make sure that my shape is all closed. So I'll use an arc and then close this shape and then cut that shape out of my cylinder, okay, on both sides. So we're going to start by creating a sketch on this mid plane cutting through the middle of my part, okay, this plane right here. Orbit around if you want to get a better look. Okay, so it's this plane right here, select it, and I'm just going to move over there, zoom in just a little. Um, so I'm now going to be able to sketch like cutting through the middle of this part. That's what I'm sketching on right now. Okay, so I need to project some geometry because as it stands now, I cannot click on anything. Um, in order to find proper locations, okay? So uh, I need to project some of these lines that I see onto my sketch, and we've done that numerous times now. So hit P on your keyboard. Let's project this line. I'll need that. I'll need this line. I can't project this bottom line because it's at the bottom of my circle, but I can certainly project this line, and that will be good enough, and you'll see why. Hit OK. So you can see now I have a corner here, a, ver a vertex there I can choose, here, here, and then here as well. And you'll see why it's important to have this line that I'm highlighting. So let's choose the arc tool, three point arc, which means that it's three points. You click at a starting point, an end point, and then the radius. So I'm gonna start this off at the midpoint of this line. That's why I selected to project this geometries. Now I can select the midpoint of this line and let's line up the other portion with the bottom of that vertex there. And then the third point is choosing your actual arc. That looks good right there. Okay, and let's dimension D on your keyboard. Let's dimension that arc. It looks like it's a little bit Perhaps uh, let's too big. Let's play around with this a little because I kind of see some of it sticking out here. Okay, so you don't want that white space there. Uh, let's go with 45. Okay, that didn't work. Let's go with maybe a little bit bigger, 60. Okay, um, I don't like really, before we draw this arc, let's do this instead. Um, because it's, it's not, the reason why you're seeing that white gap here is because I haven't drawn, I should draw this line going across the bottom first so that then I can snap to that line. So let's do that first, okay? So let's delete the arc. And if this body's in the way, which it kind of is in the way, just hide it for now, okay? So I can delete that arc. Okay, zoom out a little bit, scroll over. Now let's go L on our keyboard for line. 
and let's draw a line going across. Okay. Now let's go back to arc. Three point. From the midpoint here, line it up. See now how it's going to snap to this line. That's what we want. That's our second point. And let's go with that looks good right there. All right. And if let's see what that dimension is. Hit D on your keyboard. 57. Okay. Okay. So I just went with a 55 there just to get a better number. And let's bring the body back in. You can see I now have a closed profile. That's what I want, right? Closed profile. Okay. That's exactly what I want. So make sure if you don't have a closed profile that you close this shape in order to get the closed profile. Finish sketch and hit E for extrude, select. You can see that it didn't actually select the profile. So hide the body, okay, and then select the profile because it seems to struggle to obviously find that through the uh, body. So select that profile and let's bring the body back in so we can see better. And let's go two-sided because if I go in an angle here, you can see that we don't just want to cut out one side. We actually want to cut out two sides. Okay. And we want to cut through the entire part. So let's go to all. And then is for extent one and then extend two. Also, let's do all. Now, sometimes that happens, which is weird. You can see my profile got deselected for whatever reason. I don't know why that is. Okay. So I'm just going to drag this out manually. Okay. And I'm going to hit go back with my body here and I'm just going to hit OK. So I just dragged out my cut and you can go beyond your part. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so I just dragged out my cut and I hit OK. All right. So orbiting around. I like what I see so far. I'm actually almost done here. Okay. Actually almost done. You probably want to create the hole inside this, uh, the mouth and inside the cylinder there. Let's not do that yet. We'll use a shell there to do that. And we could do that at the very end. Let's start uh, kind of molding this into a nicer shape. And let's just use fillets to do that. Okay. We're going to use fillets to start to round this off. Oh, and actually I do want to create kind of like a curved feature here to kind of make it look a little nicer. So what I'm going to do is actually create a sketch on this surface. Okay. And let's hit L. Okay. Maybe from the midpoint here, right? Sorry, not L. Let's create an arc. From here, maybe till here, and do something like this. Okay, let's dimension that. 55, sure. Okay, and let's make sure that we close that shape there. Okay, so make sure that you draw that line connecting and closing that shape. And what we're actually going to do now is extrude that and then mirror that cut over to this side. Okay, so let's finish. Hit E. Let's cut this profile down. All. And hit OK. You can see it's on a cut operation. Hit OK. Now. Take a look at that and just make sure that we're comfortable with that. That looks a little bit maybe like it's a little bit too much, but that's okay. Once we apply a fillet to this line, it'll look a lot nicer as well as a fillet to that line. So let's just mirror this over to the other side. So we're going to make sure that we can actually see that sketch. So I'm going to actually unhide the sketch for that. Okay, so I can see it because I'll need to select that, that profile. And 
let's now mirror that to the other side. So let's go to create, sorry, modify. No, it's in create here, mirror. And what do I want to mirror? I actually want to mirror this feature right there, that, okay? So make sure you, you switch to features there. I think by default it goes to faces. Switch to features and you wanna mirror that. And now what's the plane that we wanna mirror this on? So click on uh, select mirror plane. And it's actually this plane here that we want to uh, reflect across. So it's this mirror that kind of cuts through the middle of this part. And hit OK. All right, now let's hide that sketch. I didn't need to unhide that sketch. I thought I may need to, uh, I may have needed to, but I didn't need to. So, okay, there you go. All right, so now let's make this look a little bit nicer. This looks kind of awkward. Let's apply fillet, F on your keyboard. I'm gonna do it to this line first, along with the opposing line on the other side. Okay, and I'm gonna put a pretty big fillet on that. Let's see if I can go maybe 20, bigger than that, 40. How does that look? Okay, not bad. I can maybe even go up to 60. I think I like 60 better. Kind of has a smoother flow. Good. And hit OK. And next, uh, I don't like these lines here, so I definitely want to fill it there. So F again. Let's do it to this line and to the line on the other side. And let's see what numbers we can play with here. Sometimes you're not going to be allowed to do any size fillet you want because it'll cut into your part if you do that. So let's see if we can get a 20 millimeter fillet there. We can, and that looks pretty good, I think. Okay, I like that. Hit okay. And next, we're not gonna be able to put much of a fillet. Oh, maybe we will. Okay, so let's try doing it now on here here we may end up getting an error because if I put too big of a fillet it's gonna cut into my part here let's see what we can we can play with here five no see I've got an error can I at least do a one millimeter I can do a one millimeter can I do a two no error Okay, so I'm forced to just do a one millimeter. I think that's the biggest I can go because it's going to cut into my cylinder there. Um, your other option around that is to have extruded this face or pulled this face up a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Let's press pull this face up, not 10 millimeters, but maybe five millimeters. Okay, just a little. And now maybe we can put a bigger fillet on this. Okay, so let's, here is where I created that fillet. So don't create a new fillet, just edit this fillet. And let's now put a five. Oh, okay, so that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Because my press pull was after that fillet. I actually need to drag that press pull before that fillet, okay? Now when I edit that fillet, it'll work. So let's go five. Okay, not bad. Can I go even bigger? I think I like that better. Definitely, let's hit okay. Okay, now we're going to do the bottom as well. And actually, even these lines here. So let's hit fill it. Let's do these two lines. I don't like the way that looks. Let's round that off. Maybe with a 10 millimeter. 20. Can't do 20. It's too big. 15. Yeah, I can do a 15. How does that look? Pretty good. Okay, I like that. 
hit OK. And since we did 10 on the top, let's try to do, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do 10 on the bottom now because I've put that fillet there, but let's play around with what numbers we can use. So here and here. Yep, I can put a 10 there. That looks great. Hit OK. You can see it's really coming together now. And now I just need a fillet. Actually, I won't put a fillet on these faces yet because first I'll cut our shell and then I'll put the fillet there. Okay, so let's cut our shell first. Um, I'm not going to put my fillets here yet to round these edges uh, simply because it may cut into my shell. So let's see. Let's do a shell first. I want to do a shell going through here. It's going to go all the way through, right? So we got to select that face as well as this face. And let's do a two millimeter shell. That's usually pretty common and hit OK. It's looking good so far, all right? Almost done. So let's now just place, let's zoom in. And let's place a fillet, a small fillet around here and around here of perhaps just one millimeter. Just round it a little bit. Hit OK. OK. And I think I am pretty happy with this. Now, uh, you know, this looks kind of awkward with seeing these edges. And so what you want to do in that case is go to your display settings and switch back to just seeing the shaded um, version of this. Okay, so just the shaded version and now you can see that that looks pretty cool. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. Okay, there you have it. And the last thing that you can do is apply an, uh, a material to this. Okay, so let's apply a material. Uh, let's go with right clicking on the body and go to physical material it's kind of hiding in there just hit that arrow um, and let's go to a plastic we could do like a black plastic there if you want to kind of make it look cool maybe a color and what you want to do is just click and grab and drag this up over this and you can see it then turns red and there you have it. We have our vacuum little nozzle adapter here that we were able to design. And this is something that you can certainly take to the 3D printer. If let's say you lost yours for your vacuum, you can take this to the 3D printer and 3D print this. And there you have it. Just obviously make sure that it'll fit the hose of your vacuum, right? And make sure that you're happy with the mouth size and the width there. And yeah, you could take that to the 3D printer and create your own. Okay, that concludes uh, this video here. So hopefully you learned a few things on how to create a draft as well as how to split a body to create this angle, as well as how to cut away that portion of the cylinder down here um, by creating a sketch on the middle plane there, okay? And then just adding basically a bunch of fillets to kind of make your shape look a little bit more smooth and kind of less choppy.